man causes controversy by building his mountain villa on top of a skyscraper at some point you've dreamed of designing your perfect home most likely your vision included some surprises like a zany one-of-a-kind contraption that could make your house the talk of the town one man in China had the same desire but he might have gone a little bit too far by 2013 a self-proclaimed doctor named James Peking of Beijing China had amassed a fortune thanks to his chain of traditional Chinese medicine clinics and in-home acupuncture sessions naturally he set aside the equivalent of four million dollars towards his dream home Zhang bought the very top floor of a rather plain skyscraper the 26th floor to be exact at first there was nothing spectacular about it it was just a small attic when he bought it one resident said but Zhang had big plans for the space over a period of six years Zhang's team of builders worked largely at night to renovate the penthouse apartment piece by piece they carried materials including rocks trees and bushes to the top floor they seemed to be building something unusual see Zhang's dream home wasn't going to be some swanky penthouse with gold floors and crystal rimmed bathtubs rather he was determined to fashion a mountain villa for himself that would be nestled into the rooftop of this Chinese skyscraper but while it might have looked like a retreat of solitude for an early millennial monk Zhang's villa was a bit more rambunctious there he partied hard and perhaps no room in his retreat saw more attention than the karaoke parlor which caused some problems residents of the building lived in a state of constant agony they've been renovating for years said one resident who just wanted peace and quiet they normally do it at night Zhang was very arrogant he couldn't care less about my complaints other building residents haunted by the volume of Zhang's late-night construction and karaoke parties cut their losses and moved away another man confronted Zhang in person and ended up getting physically assaulted for his troubles when confronted by property management Zhang said I'm not afraid of the complaints you can't stop famous people from singing when they come here but karaoke wasn't the only hardship his villa inflicted on the residents the 8,000 square foot rooftop villa that was built into the side of an artificial mountain wasn't exactly a lightweight dwelling because of this these steel beams and heavy stone Zhang used put some serious stress on the rest of the building thanks to the added weight many walls in the building cracked and water pipes burst Residents understandably feared the skyscraper was one more late-night karaoke party away from totally collapsing Could anyone thwart Zhang in his obscene structure? Apparently yes Shortly after the construction of his mountain villa was finished Zhang encountered another problem. It wasn't legal Indeed in building his dream home the medicine magnet never bothered to secure the proper permits Soon enough building code enforcement officials paid a visit to Zhang, but he didn't answer the door for them that complicated the inspector's job in a hopelessly bureaucratic way if we can't calculate the scope of this illegal construction the deputy head of the purple bamboo park urban management district said we can't issue a notice requiring him to dismantle it had Zhang managed to squeeze his way out of his troublesome situation sick of Zhang constantly ducking and avoiding them the building code enforcers slapped a notice on his door it explained to the doctor that he had 15 days to prove his structure was safe or else he'd be forced to tear it down Meanwhile the media and local residents applied pressure to convince Zhang to tear it down Locals hung a red banner outside the building that roughly read we resolutely support the large media outlets in revealing this residential compounds illegal structures Amazingly Zhang defended his villa which he refused to call his home rather he referred to it as an ornamental garden Likely to net more lax legal constraints the structure he argued had no permanent concrete attachments and therefore was safe Eventually Zhang perhaps persuaded by unbearable public and media pressure at his door offered a little concession to detractors Now I realize it was a huge mistake. He told CCTV would his mountain villa or ornamental garden I mean survive in the end authorities demanded that Zhang move his villa from the top of the Beijing skyscraper He was given just 25 days to begin tearing down his rooftop home and mercifully he complied Still for as much trouble as his home caused some residents of the community were sorry to see it go as one supporter put it It really is a marvelous villa atmospheric and luxurious It was a shame that Shang's dream home caused such a stir his mountain villa truly was a work of art and an otherwise concrete jungle If he had just acquired the proper permits and exercised a little civility with his neighbors perhaps it could have all worked out Despite how unique this rooftop villa was 
the residents of the building were lucky that Zhang never got the required permits. Who knows what kind of problems the penthouse would have caused if it stayed. Share this unique mountain villa with your friends.